Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2, Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston. And the problem says that two cables are tied together at C and are loaded as shown, knowing that force P equals to 500 Newton and alpha angle equals to 60 degree. Determine the tension in cable AC and in cable BC. So we are given this diagram and we are given this force P which has a magnitude of 500 Newton and we are given this angle alpha which is 60 degree and we are required to find the tension in rope BC and the tension in this cable AC. So as we can see that this point C is in equilibrium under the action of these three forces and if the number of forces is equal to 3 and if the system is in equilibrium these three forces must make a closed triangle. So let's draw the free body diagram. If we cut these ropes, we will have the free body diagram like this and we will have the tension in rope uh, BC acting like this. This will be the tension in rope BC and similarly we will have the tension in rope AC. So this is the tension in rope AC and this P force has a magnitude of 500 Newton which is given and this angle alpha is 60 degree. Now, uh, this angle is 45 degree and this angle, this line and this line, both of these lines are horizontal. So if this is 45, this is 45 degree. So this means that the tension in rope AC must be making angle 45 with the horizontal. So we can say that this angle is 45 degree as well. Similarly, if uh, we draw a horizontal line here, so this line and this line, both of these lines are parallel. So this angle is 25, then this angle is 25 as well. Both of these angles are alternate angles as well. So if we draw a horizontal line here, so TBC is making 25 degree angle here as well. So I will show that 25 degree angle as well. Now since this point C is in equilibrium, the sum of these three forces by head to tail rule must make a closed triangle. Since, since we have three number of forces acting at point C. So now we will draw a closed triangle by head to tail rule. So I have this TBC. This is TBC and this TBC. Um, and then we have this force P. And let's say this is my force P. This is force P which has a magnitude of 500 Newton. And then we have the tension in rope AC. So this is the tension in rope AC. Now, the tension in rope AC is making 45 degree angle with the horizontal. So this is 45. And this TBC is making a 25 degree with the horizontal. So if this is 45, then this angle is 45 as well. Since this line and this line, both of these lines are parallel. And these two angles are alternate angles. So this is a 45 degree angle as well. And similarly, this force P is making a 60 degree angle with the horizontal. So if we draw a horizontal line here, let's say. If this is a horizontal line, then this angle is alpha angle, which is 60 degrees. So this angle is 60. And similarly, if this is horizontal line and this is horizontal line then this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles so we can say that this angle is 25 degrees so we can say that this angle is 25 degrees now this remaining angle will be 60 minus 25 so we can say that this angle is 60 minus 25 degrees and 60 minus 25 is 35 degrees. So this is 35. And similarly, we can add up both of these angles. So 45 plus 25 is 70. This angle is 70. This is 70 degrees. And similarly, we can find this angle as well. Now, let's say this angle is theta. So we can say that uh, theta plus 70 degrees plus 35 degrees this is equal to 180 degrees since the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees so theta plus this 70 
plus this 35 degree angle this must be equals to 180 so we can say that theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 35 degrees so 180 minus 70 minus 35 this gives me theta angle equals to 75 degrees now we know all the angles this theta angle is equal to 75 degrees now we are required to find the tension in rope bc and the tension in rope ac now we can find these by applying the law of sines so we can say that tbc this is tbc so tbc divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is this so sine of this will be equal to force p this is that force p divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this is the opposite angle so p p has a magnitude of 500 divided by sine of 70 degrees and multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 75 degrees we can find tbc so tbc is 500 sine of 75 divided by sine of 70 so this is 513.95 which we can say that this is approximately equal to 514 so tbc is 514 newtons since this this force p is in newtons so tbc must be in newtons since this the, these two are unitless so tbc is 514 newton similarly we can find uh, that tac so tac divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this is tac and the opposite angle is this which is 35 so sine of 35 degrees equals to 500 that force p divided by the sine of the opposite angle so again we have that sine of 70 multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 35 we will have tac equals to 500 sine of 35 degrees divided by sine of 70 degrees so 500 sine of 35 divided by sine of 70 gives me tac equals to approximately equal to 305 newtons so the tension in rope AC is 305 newtons and the tension in rope BC is 514 newtons. If that point C is in equilibrium under the force of uh, this P which is 500 newton at an angle of uh, alpha which is 60 degree. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy. For the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Baron Johnston.